Although the Moto 360 is a smart watch, it's not really built for using touchscreens intensively in terms of loading applications and typing on a keyboard. So instead, a big component of smart watches is a voice commands. My opinion and confidence of such technology is pretty low, so can the Moto 360 convince me otherwise? Okay Google, show me my steps. So the basic principle is, if a watch is active, you can either tap on it or say OK Google and then give it a command, such as the one I've just given it. Now although it has shown my steps, for some reason I've walked minus 22 miles today. Which is a little curious, but that's probably a software bug. Let's try another test. OK Google, send email to Sarah, hello, how are you? Not quite what I was looking for. OK Google, set timer for 15 minutes. And here we have another problem, recognising accents. I said 15 minutes. OK Google, set timer for 30 minutes. And sometimes it just downright refuses to work. OK Google, set timer for 13 minutes. So it worked the second time, but this is a classic case of where if it doesn't work the first time, then it's a pretty pointless feature because it takes much longer to do it than using, say, a phone to set the timer. OK Google, navigate to work. Let's try that again, shall we? OK Google, navigate to work. It obviously doesn't understand what work means. OK Google, navigate to Granville Island. Uh... OK Google, navigate to Robson Street. And finally it understands a navigation question and sends that information to my phone where it will give me a satnav guide to where I need to be. It will also give me quick instructions on the smartwatch. Unfortunately, this seems to be a situation where the voice commands aren't intelligent enough to understand general speak, such as navigate to work or navigate to Granville Island. It either misinterprets my words or doesn't understand the concept of me wanting to go to work. So for me, voice commands still remain frustrating, but also absolutely hilarious. OK Google, remind me to make a video about how rubbish the voice commands are on the... Remind me to make a video on how rubbish... Remind me to make a video about how rubbish the voice commands are on the Moto 360 in one hour. Of course you didn't. Remind me to make... What? OK Google. Remind me to make... Remind me to make a video. You are going to make me swear in a minute. Brilliant. OK Google, remind me to make a video about how rubbish the voice commands are on the Moto 360 in one minute. What? Make a note, voice commands on the Moto 360 are rubbish. And there is the note proudly displayed on my phone. 
I did want to do one final test, however, and that was to test whether a voice command was actually faster than doing the same thing on a mobile phone. So this is to set timer. Okay, Google, set timer for five minutes. So some proof at least that if voice commands work perfectly, they can be faster than doing the same task on another device. Unfortunately, it only works about 20% of the time. What do you think about voice commands? Am I being too harsh or do you have equally hilarious stories you want to share in the comments below? Hey there, thank you for watching the Video Gadgets Journal. My name is Rob and each of my videos is designed to inform, intrigue and entertain to connect you with your technology. Today you've been watching a Moto 360 smartwatch video. To learn more about it, click over here. If you want to get the best out of a device, then click on hints and tips over here. And if you want to learn more about the channel and me in general, then click right here. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.